let's make fun of Friends. All right, how many how many of you watched Friends? Were you guys a fan of the the show Friends? I mean, I've I've watched. I remember watching it when it was live because you know I was born in '84, so I was 10 when it came out, and it ran for what 10 years? I don't even know when it when it finished airing. I know there was uh, 2003. They referenced something that happened in 2003, and we'll get into that in a second. But I, I remember watching it, and I you know I remember being like a teenager going. Eh, you know, it's entertaining, you know, uh, some of them were funnier than others, but you know, they had a dynamic and it was, it was like, I, I recently watched, rewatched it about three years ago with Nusra and it was like, it was okay. You know, it wasn't as good as I remembered. It wasn't, I don't know. It wasn't the best show. Um, it, it got, it was, it got worse near the end. I, I feel like they were kind of running on steam. You know, it wasn't bad. And when I heard that they were doing a Friends reunion, I was like, oh, really? Great, you know? And then everyone was all upset because they found out, oh, well, the reunion is actually not a show, uh, a series. They were thinking maybe they were getting, an, you know, an extra, you know, s season or something. You know, it's like, well, you're not going to get the full season, but we're going to give you one, one episode of just the cast sitting on a couch talking about doing the show. And I was like, oh, all right. I'm sure a lot of people will be, it would be cool to see them all sitting together. And actually, no joke, I kind of want to watch the reunion too, you know, just to see, you know, where they are now and kind of see how they interact with each other. It's probably cool. A little nostalgic for me too, because, you know, I was an 80s child and, you know, I grew up in the 90s and the times were totally different then. And it proves, because look at this article. This is this is the reason I'm bringing this up. Friends reunion director addresses lack of diversity in the special, saying the cast is the cast. Yeah. The, wait, what? I'm sorry, lack of diversity. It's six white actors. How how are they going to make this more diverse? Like, how, to, who do they, it's a reunion, like, talk, you know, they're, they're talking about doing the show. Who are, wh how are they supposed to make it more diverse? You know, before they they kind of tr they try to justify it in this article. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you about it. But it's like, what? <laughs> who are they gonna they gonna swap different characters? Well, this is who Joey would be if the show were to air now, right? Because it's too many white people in this show. We're gonna we need a you know a token uh, person of color here. A token uh, non-binary person and all right now that's a little more diverse Joey you're out and Monica you're you're replaced also <laughs> some some really odd way of, of fixing it I guess I don't know the director of the Friends reunion addressed critics who questioned why the show's black actors did not make an appearance and noted that the special lacked diversity Ben Winston, 39, spoke with Sunday Times about the special, which aired on HBO Max on May 27th. During the interview, Winston responded to the backlash, suggesting that those who say the special was not diverse haven't seen it. I wouldn't be surprised if they, like, they didn't have people that came on, you know, that, or, you know, let's see, let's see. We have uh, Malala, Mindy uh, Kaling. BTS, the South Korean boy band. There are three women from Ghana, one who talks about how friends saved her life, two boys from Kenya, three kids in India, he said. And what's more diversity do they want? What more diversity do they want in this reunion? The cast is the cast. It was made in 1994, and I think it's remarkable how well it does stand the test of time. So they have people actually making um, co commentary about the show who are from all over. So what what exactly are they wanting? When asked about the complaints regarding black friends actors like Aisha Tyler not appearing in the special, Winston said not everyone could join us. I'm really pleased with the show we were able to put together. Tyler appeared as gr the girlfriend of Ross, played by David Schwimmer, in nine episodes in 2003. Friends, which debuted in September 1994 on NBC, has long been criticized for its lack of diversity. Oh, God. I didn't know that, but cool. 
The show's six main cast members, Schwimmer Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc, and Matthew Perry are all white. <gasps> oh my. I, I didn't know. Friends creator Marta Kaufman and executive pu producer uh, Kevin Bright recently addressed the backlash, telling Hollywood Reporter that the cast was chosen because of their chemistry together. Oh, good. So their character of uh, underneath the skin. Oh, cool. I appreciate that. We didn't intend to have an all-white cast. That was not the goal either. Obviously, the chemistry between these six actors speaks for itself. It's true. Say what you will about the show. Like it or not. They did have good chemistry, you know, they, they were all unique and kind of brought out a lot of craziness, honestly, with each other. Cause I, I did see it recently and they did kind of make each other, not like you're going crazy in a bad way, but like, you know, a good sense of, of hilariousness, you know, I don't know. And, and to hear that they actually had, uh, you know, different commentary from people from all over the planet on how friends help them or they love the show or and and it's different you know peace people of color which clearly is what they need in diversity i think he's right they they didn't see it they just complained they were like oh great it's a show with with the six white people let me just insert this uh virtue signal and uh, insert my complaining about some sort of lack of racial diversity into the whatever is happening because that's what's going on literally any chance they have to to drag this in there and throw it out in in your face in my face like ah it's not diverse enough it's not diverse enough it's like stop being a victim can you stop being a victim be accountable for your own actions and get out there and make something of your life stop complaining online i'm just so fed up with it you just got to do it just got to get out and do it. Anyway. So that's what's going on with that. I think it's... Uh, and now I want to see it. Now I want to see it even more. In fact, I really didn't care to see it. And then I, I heard about this and I was like, you know what? Now I want to see it to spite this person. But now that I've... Now, you know, we found out that they actually have a bunch of different, you know, people from all over the planet of all different skin colors. Because it doesn't matter. Everyone's human. Everyone has emotions and feel and can connect to the show. Even though it's six white people oh you mean they can connect emotionally with six white people why how they're not the same skin color oh it's just my goodness it reminds me of the what is it i think it's university of illinois that said you're not allowed to use if you're white excuse me if you're white you're not allowed to use black memes black people in memes and i'm like what I, we can't relate to them they're so segregated that we're not even to connect emotionally to like the things that they're emoting. They're great at emoting. They, they tend to be better than the average emote. That's just the truth. And uh, I, I connect with them emotionally because they're human beings. And that's what I see. I see human beings. I don't see skin color. And I feel like most people I know don't either. It's just not a thing. It's not a thing that I was raised with seeing skin color that's ridiculous right I, I care about who you are underneath i'm get me talking about race because these they they just insert it into everything a friend's reunion what are you expecting <laughs> the show came out 20 geez almost 30 years ago 27 years ago wow <laughs> i'm old <laughs> oh my goodness that's crazy to think about how old this show is and like people are like well you know, it should have been uh, a different cast. They even said that oh, the, it's about the chemistry. If it had a better chemistry, I mean, you know, who who's complaining about? Um, I don't know. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air didn't have enough diversity. That show was awesome. I wouldn't have wanted it changed. The show was fantastic. It made it put Will Smith on the map. The dude was hilarious. Right? Who doesn't love French Prince of Bel Air, you know? Who wants to do the, the dance, you know what I'm saying? It's not unusual to me. I'm not going to start dancing, but, you know, man, it's like, I don't hear them complaining about that. Because what? Because it's it's not the right kind of diversity? Like, oh, well, they're, they're all of, you know, one skin color that's not white, so it's okay? You know, there's it's just a one-sided issue with these people, and it's... I'm so sick of the hypocrisy. It's just ridiculous. So, 
I don't think it's I don't think it's ever gonna stop. It's not gonna stop. Yeah. These people don't care. They just want a virtue signal. They just wanna they just wanna yell at the people that think that it's okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Anyway, it's good to be back. It's good to be back.